How could a puppy this small end up with a belly full of rib bones? The dog's six pounds. A lot of bones for a little dog. Yeah. Well, you saw, in the x-ray, you can kind of see it was pushing, it was so much it was pushing the stomach out. And you could just pet the stomach and feel them right there. Dr. Lori Sipperstein Cook is it's chief of shelter place. medicine here at the Sacramento SPCA. Oh my gosh. These are the actual uh, short ribs. She surgically removed nearly 50 of these bones from this little guy's stomach and intestines. The dog's owner brought him into a private veterinary clinic this week, saying the dog had eaten some ribs on Sunday and was acting sluggish. They didn't want to pay for services when they knew something was wrong. The owner surrendered the dog to the clinic, which then brought him to the Sacramento SPCA. By then, it was Wednesday. You know, we did the surgery to remove them, and we kind of had a pool to, you know, how many would we find? It turned out to be 46. <laughs> How does a little six pound puppy eat 46 of these? I'm not talking about you. This is Milo, another SPCA pup who's scheduled to have a bladder stone removed by Dr. Lori. As for our rib eating friend, he's been recovering at a foster home since Wednesday. Every day it's like, has he eaten yet? How's he doing? Has he lifted his head? Is he walking around? And so just this morning, for the first time, he ate some on his own. So that's like, woohoo! Not 100% out of the woods, but, but that's a huge sign in a, in a, in a dog. No, this dog is not yet ready for adoption. The SBCA says they want him to heal up fully first, but they have received a lot of inquiries about his availability. They say even though there's only one rib eating dog, there are many cats and dogs here who need a loving home. Perhaps that home could be yours. At the Sacramento SBCA, Becca Habiger, ABC 10 News.